Okay, so uh, one way we can use proportions is to solve these sorts of uh, healthcare types of problems. Um, so I've got a problem up here. We've got 50 units of glucose are needed for every 2,400 units of saline. How many units of glucose are needed if we have one th or 15,360 units of saline? And we want to keep the concentration the same. Well, what we can do is we can set up a ratio for the units of glucose to units of saline. Um, so it's 50 units of glucose to every 2,400 units of saline. So I put glucose on the top and saline on the bottom. You could have done it the other way. You could have put the saline on the top and the glucose on the bottom. It, it doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> we're saying they're um, in proportion to each other. Um, and so they asked us, uh, if we have 15,360 units of saline and we want to keep the concentration the same. Um, so what we do end up doing is we set up another ratio. Uh, so we know we've got 15,360 units of saline, but we don't know the glucose. So I'm going to make that X. And we want these things to be in proportion to each other. So if we put an equal sign between them, we have created a proportion and thus equation we can solve. The one thing we have to be super careful about is making sure that what's in the bottom of our ratios matches up. So saline and saline, glucose and glucose. If you flop one of them, we wouldn't get what we were looking for. We wouldn't get uh, ratio, we were looking at a ratio of glucose to saline, and if we flopped them, it would be saline to glucose. So those wouldn't, that wouldn't be a, a proportion. So now what we have to do to figure this out is just solve this proportion using our knowledge of rational equations and the skills that we've developed. Okay, so um, that means we're just trying to get x by itself. So if we multiply on both sides by 15,360, I'll do it over here, and we got to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, they cancel out on this side. Okay. And when we multiply by 50 and divide by 2400, this is going to seem a little bit like magic. There's a little bit of work to that, but we get an answer of 320. So what that means, we need 320 of units of glucose with our... 15,360 units of saline if we want to keep the concentration the same.